Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you to all of you who sent over your work yesterday. Very well done to all of you guys. Your reports will be going out soon so hopefully you should be getting your reports as well. And um, you know many of you guys have done great work online and you know been engaged quite a lot compared to others. So well done to you for you know taking your time out to help yourself with your learning. Okay, so today's date is the 1st of July 2020. So this is your last, going to be your last three weeks of learning, online learning, before you go on your summer break. So learning intention to describe movements between positions as translation of a given unit to the left, right, up and down. Okay, so starter. So you've got your starter here. The answer is 140. What's the question? Record your ideas working out. So for this question, for this answer, there could be a lot of potential questions and working out. So there's no wrong question or working out. We can get 140 in many different ways. So whether you add, subtract, divide, take away, you can get many different answers. What we need to do is try and get at least three different questions for this this answer. Okay, so like I said yesterday, this is just something you need to remember when we are looking at grids, plotting coordinates, or describing movements. So the x-axis is the flat one, which goes down the corridor, and the y-axis is the line that stands up, which is the nice and tall one. And then the, in the bracket, the first digit is the x-digit, and then the second digit is the digit from the y axes okay so what is translation a translation is when a shape moves from one position to another without being rotated or flipped on this grid a rectangle has been moved to position b this is not translation because the shape has been rotated is this a translation look at shape a has it been translated to shape b or not Yes, this is a translation. Is this a translation? No, this is not a translation because the shape has been rotated. Is this a translation? No, this is not a translation because the shape has been rotated. To describe a translation, you have to say how many squares it is moved to the left or right and how many squares it has moved up or down. So what you need to do is find a corner that you're going to describe or you're going to move the shape by. So it's like where you're going to hold it from. So the shape has been translated four squares to the right. Okay, so from the point you're holding it, how many squares did you move it to the right? So remember, we need to, hold, we need to find a corner you're going to hold it and drag it by. Okay, and then it goes three squares up. The coordinates of the black point on shape A are 1, 4. What are the coordinates of the point shown on shape B? 5, 7. Okay, a rectangle has been translated from position A to B. Can you describe how it has been translated? So remember, what you need to do is find a corner that you're going to drag it by or pull it by. And then you describe the movements of the, that corner. So it has been translated three right and four down. So if you hold it from the top right hand corner, what is the translation from triangle A to triangle B? So what you need to find is a corner that you're going to hold by and move it forward. Left five, one, two, three, four, five, and up two. What is the translation from tri triangle B to A? Right five, down two. Discuss what you notice about these translations. So what we need to do is pause the video for a bit and, you know, just think for a minute. What did you notice about these translations? Translating a shape 
7 right and 2 up is the same as translating it 2 up and 7 right. Do you agree with Sophia? Explain your reasoning using the grid to help you. So, have a look at this grid. If I move the first shape, which is at the bottom, with the corner 1, 1, if I move that 7 right and 2 up, is that the same as moving the shape 2 up and 7 right? It is the same. The triangle will move to the same place with either the set of instructions because the instructions are the same but in different order. In maths, we usually describe the movement on the x-axis first, so we would usually describe the translation as 7 right and 2 up. This rectangle has been translated from position A to B, 3 right and 2 down. Do you agree with Thomas? Explain your reasoning using the grid below to help you. What I want you to do is pause the video for yourself and just think for a minute whether you agree with Thomas or not and why you do or don't. Thomas has counted from the right vertex of the triangle rectangle a to the a to the left vertex of rectangle B and from the bottom vertex of rectangle A to the bottom vertex of rectangle B. The correct translation is right six and down three. Okay. Describe the translation you could do you could do to piece together the shapes to make new shapes. So what I want you to do is pause the video for you know a few minutes and position a new shape for A, B, C and D. You could translate shape You could translate rectangle. Okay, so what we need to do now is watch this short clip, uh, you know, to further deepen your understanding of describing movements of shapes. I think it's very useful. It help you understand more or further along with the learning that I've just showed you uh, before you go on to complete in the task. Okay, so the task is on the website, year 4, maths, and is dated 010720, challenge 1 or challenge 2. Good luck with the um, task, guys, and I should see you tomorrow in your work, in your next lesson. Bye, guys.